arm you can hang onto a bar simply assist yourself up until you build a leg strength muscle or you can do it without hanging on to the pole. Kettlebell swing, it's a great exercise for hip explosion. Uh, basically we want to lower the kettlebell between our legs, keep our hamstrings tight, feel them stretch at the bottom, and then quickly explode up, pop your hips through in the top of the movement, and then make sure your body stays upright, push through the through the heels into the ground. You don't want to lean back on this exercise and on the top of the motion. Explode with the hips, that's important. Keep your body nice and tall. Push up, hold, twist is a great exercise to uh, work on the hip strength, oblique strength, core strength, also shoulder stability. Just overall having nice tall uh, posture when you're kicking. This will help strengthen a lot of the muscles that are utilized. Uh, you can do it simply uh, just like Austin is doing it here without any weights or to make it more challenging grab a 10 5 pound dumbbell in your hand do exactly the same movement the key is start with your hands about shoulder width apart feet a little bit wider as you reach up towards the ceiling kind of simply rotate your feet as well keeping the whole body nice and firm you want to have a straight line between your heels and your head single leg straight leg deadlift is an exercise that works the balance also works the muscles on the outer edge of your uh, plant leg, which is excellent for kickers. Uh, strengthens you so that your uh, lean is strong. You can swing your foot through nicely. Basically, you're gonna lower the dumbbell towards your down leg. You're gonna keep the back leg as straight as possible, keeping a straight line between your heel and your head. Basically, just bring the dumbbell down towards your foot that is on the ground. The leg that is down can bend, you want to keep the back leg as straight as possible. Um, heavier the dumbbell, obviously, the more challenging the exercise. You want to try to get about 10 in a row. If you have to put your foot down between reps, go ahead. Single leg slide squat is a great exercise. Works in a strength um, of, of basically quads and glutes and balance at the same time, uh, especially in the outer edge of your plant leg. Um, Simply, you want to slide your foot out uh, and do a one-legged squat on the other leg, uh, bringing a dumbbell pretty much right towards the middle of your body. This is easier done if you were to wear socks and do it on a hardwood floor. It's very smooth. Or to make it more challenging, instead of sliding your leg out, you can just simply uh, hover it right above the ground. Hanging knee raises is a great exercise to strengthen the lower, lower body core. Uh, a lot of muscles used in kicking. You want to basically hang from a bar and bring your knees towards your elbows, just like that. Um, if you lack the grip strength to do this exercise, you can use one of those, uh, um, I guess, uh, hooks where you kind of put your elbows in and kind of do them that way. Uh, the, so this is the correct way, knees all the way to the elbows. The incorrect way is just simply bringing your knees up, which this simply just works in the hip flexors, which are weak muscles. Or uh, drain pretty quickly and you won't really get the core exercise that you or core strengthening that you need S Single leg step ups um, it's a Very simple exercise uh, Here uh, Austin is doing without any dumbbells, but the uh, best way to do this exercise is just simply Hanging on to a dumbbell in each hand and just keep simply keeping your hands Along the side of your body and when you step up you want to make sure you stay tall bring your knee up uh, you don't want to slouch in the waist and you don't want to crouch forward in your shoulders. Nice and tall, look straight ahead. Uh, great exercise to build uh, explosive power in your quads and your glutes.